Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing a quick speed test comparison of two flagship devices in the compact flagship segment. We have the newly launched Vivo X200 FE and we also have the OnePlus 13S. So these are two powerful compact flagships around the 50 to 60,000 price segment. So let's see which performs better in terms of opening of apps, memory management, raw synthetic benchmarks. So let's just go to the about device on both the phones, uh, about device. So you can see here front touch OS, Dimensity 9300 plus octa-core processor, 12 GB RAM and Android 15, while this is Oxygen OS 15, Android 15, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite and 12 gigs of RAM. So both have uh, quite different hardware, Snapdragon 8 Elite versus Dimensity 9300 plus, both have LPDDR5 x RAM, while this is UFS 3.1 on the Vivo X200 FE, while this is UFS 4.0. Now we are not re really sure why Vivo choose uh, 3.1 on a flagship category device so let's just clear off all the background apps so there you go and uh, we'll just uh, see the settings uh, here you can see here both are connected to the same wi-fi network and both are in airplane mode as well so let's uh, clear all the background apps once again so let's start with uh, asphalt unite so let's see which opens asphalt unite faster So OnePlus has taken the lead here, couple of seconds faster, BGMI, once again OnePlus 13S has taken the lead, it has in fact opened the app, few seconds faster, Play Store, again OnePlus was faster, Chrome browser, Vivo was faster, Facebook almost same time, XAD same time, uh, here OnePlus was faster, Spotify again OnePlus was faster, here Vivo was faster, Flipkart OnePlus was faster, XAD same time, settings again XAD same time, YouTube almost same time, Gmail OnePlus was slightly faster, Camera OnePlus is faster and Maps. Uh, almost same time so you could see here both the devices are neck to neck in terms of performance except for games where the snapdragon 8 elite was way faster than the vivo dimensity 9300 plus next let's see the memory management of these two devices so let's see how many apps are reloaded and how many apps are available in the memory so flipkart has been reloaded here while it is available amazon is reloaded on both the devices quite surprising spotify is also reloaded on both uh, Instagram not available on Vivo, once again reloaded on Vivo, Facebook available on both the devices, Chrome browser again re reloaded, here it is reloaded while Play Store is available. Now let's go to the games, both have retained the game which is quite good and finally Asphalt Unite, so both have reloaded the game. So you can see here memory management isn't great on either of the devices but if you are comparing the memory management, OnePlus did a slightly better job here. Uh, while Vivo, a lot of apps were reloaded. Next, let's go to the network settings of these two devices. So we connected both the devices to the same uh, server. There you go. We'll start with Vivo. So very similar scores we have got. So nothing much to differentiate. Next, let's go to the synthetic benchmark scores. So here you can see 18 lakh versus 24 lakh. So almost. Uh, uh, 6 to 7 lakh uh, difference between these two devices you can see here uh, GPU score is uh, over 11 lakh uh, while this is uh, uh, 7 lakh uh, 27,000 so that is one of the biggest difference GPU performance is way higher on uh, the OnePlus 13S with the Snapdragon 8 Elite so let's also see the storage test value So the difference isn't uh, high, you can see here, uh, the random access speed is uh, much lower on uh, this one while uh, both have, uh, here you can see UFS 4.0 while this UFS 3.1, even though the speeds are in that uh, uh, different here, the overall score is in the high, but you can see a sequential read and write scores are way higher on the OnePlus uh, 13S. Now let's finally go to the Geekbench test uh, of these two devices, so there you go. So you can see here 1875 versus 2864, 
6306 multi core versus 8645 so obviously uh, the one plus 13s is the better here in terms of synthetic page one so that was the uh, speed test comparison of these two devices in fact we have already done a camera comparison of these two devices do check out that video also so which of these devices will you pick uh, if you were to go ahead and buy one compact flagship in the 50 to 60 thousand price segment do let us know your thoughts in the comment section this is number signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day